Hi, so it's 1st of June. Happy 1st of June. Half a year has gone by and we did nothing. So today, I have one recording to finish. That is something that we are doing for Pink Dot. It's sweater weather today. It's raining really, really heavily outside. I don't know if you can see it. You can't. Okay, whatever. I'm glad the rain stopped for a little bit. So now I'm going to start recording. <coughs> oh my god. I just realised that I forgot to turn on the midi. Ah ha ha. Hey! Where? Yeah, where? 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 Why? I don't get it. Why? Ah, seriously? Ah, kill me, lah. So today I just spent. Uh, the whole day compiling a footage of all of us uh, singing this special song that we will be performing for this year's um, Pink Dot which will be held online and um, I think it's fun because this song is a rock song and I have never actually tried to make an electric lead guitar sound ever so we got to play with that and I got to be the electric guitar for this uh, next performance so I'm very excited to send the completed video to Pink Dot Yes! Okay, the colour is a bit too much because uh, I'm taking a video of my video uh, But yes! If you're, able to, if you're able to guess what song it is, I will give you a brownie point <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited. I'm so freaking excited. I can't wait for it to be played and I can't wait for people to hear it and see it and hopefully they will like it as much as I do. I think it has been a pretty fun thing and I'm very excited for everyone to hear my electric guitar sound which of course has been, you know, edited with distortion effects. Uh, but yeah, Vaughn was teaching me how to do it properly, so there were a few uh, back and forth uh, voice messages. And uh, now it sounds pretty good, so I'm very happy about that. Ah! Hi, good morning. So today is Thursday, and I have something special lined up for myself today. So as you guys know, it's phase one now, and um, but it doesn't really make much of a difference, right? Because we are technically not allowed to go out whenever we want. But... Um, Here's a tip for you, if you feel like going out for a walk or something but you cannot find a legitimate reason to do so perhaps you can consider going to donate blood right? So recently I read this article online that says that they are in urgent need of blood because of you know all this stuff that's going on and people are not going down as regularly as the past maybe I don't know but they are in need of blood, the blood bank so all you need to do is to just um, go online and make an appointment okay then um, you know just go down and I think the whole process is very fast yeah and actually it's only this is only going to be my second time donating because in the past years right they were never able to find my vein they say that I have very thin veins so I never got to donate until sometime early this year yeah and uh, I can assure you it's completely painless yeah at first I was a bit afraid also because um, the needle is very thick yeah so it's very scary to watch yeah but after that first time I realized that you know anesthetics is just like the best invention on earth because I literally I, I didn't feel anything at all yeah so it's not as scary as you think yeah and you see you get to go out for a walk and you can do a good cause right so yeah I'll bring you guys there later I mean I will try to record whatever is there if I can yeah so one thing to note before you go for a new blood donation is that you have to make sure that you are well fed so that you won't feel faintish or whatever after you um, donate the blood so today I'm having bread and peanut butter and satay in the morning it's for safety's sake yeah, just fill it up So apparently, it's also my birthday month, right? So they gave me like a lot of pouch 
I don't know it's like am I going to receive presents or what? So now uh, I have the blood tested and then seen the doctor. So now it's just straight into the donation room and we're gonna start. And so once we are done, we can go ahead and get some food to eat. More food, always the best. Wow, my favorite green bean soup. Chicken mayo, chose chicken mayo today. And Milo, oh my god, I haven't drunk Milo for like three months. The only place right now you can eat outside, I think. It's awesome. Recently, I was talking about how I miss dancing and all that. So one of my friends on Instagram, she texted me to tell me, you know, hey, keep dancing, get back into it. And she invited me to one of her Zoom sessions. So I did the Zoom session and really felt quite badly because like they were really advanced. Um, but after that, I practiced and practiced until I could get the dance or at least have it look decent. Yeah, so I just finished my second dance class, but this time it was not with Cheryl, it's with my friend Kay, who uh, does uh, contemporary lyrical stuff. And I feel pretty good, it's a beginner class. And I know, you know, there are some stuff that I, I can't do anymore, like, like turn and not fall. <laughs> but it was pretty good and I'm really happy and I'm so grateful for people like Cheryl who, you know, just randomly text me on Instagram to tell me to do this with her and I don't even know her in real life, you know. So, that's really great. I'm really thankful. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do more dance stuff. Hopefully, my body will be happy. Yes.